The movie centers on Percival and Rooster, who have been best friends since they were young children. In 1935, Percival works throughout the day at his father Percy Sr.'s morgue and performs piano at the church, a neighborhood nightclub. In addition to becoming a bootlegger and singer at the club, Rooster marries Zora, with whom he has five children. Gangsters Trumpy, Ace, Rose, and Spats come to see Rooster play in order to discuss a deal they have with the club. Entertainer Angel Davenport, a St. Louis singer under contract to the club, makes an appearance backstage. Sally B. Shelley, an aspiring singer who pilfered the contract from the real Davenport, is the true angel. In a warehouse, Rooster and Rose have sex in an automobile. Rose jumps out of the car, gets dressed, and approaches Trumpy, Ace, and Spats who have just arrived as they hear people entering the building. After she leaves, Trumpy kills Ace and Spats to take over the company. While Rooster is out shopping with his family, he runs into Trumpy, who informs him that Rooster now has to deal with Ace's debt. He must raise the necessary funds by selling alcohol at church that he purchased from Trumpy's suppliers. When Rooster arrives at Rose's house to warn her, she has already packed and is prepared to flee. Rose is being observed by one of Trumpy's goons as she leaves in a cab. As this is going on, Rooster starts having more issues at the club and has Angel sing. Percival consoles her and gives her a song he created after she gets a bout of stage fright. After the song becomes popular, Angel suddenly becomes well-known, and she and Percival fall in love. Zora, the rooster's wife, moves to her mother's house with their kids after growing weary of her husband's infidelity. Percival is asked to accompany Angel when she signs a record deal in Chicago, but he grudgingly says no since he still feels a duty to his father. After revealing her true identity to Percival, Angel convinces him to visit Chicago and declares her love for him. Rex comes up with a scheme to purchase alcohol from GW and his accomplice. One day, Rooster notices an automobile that appears to be stalled on the road when he is going about to get hooch from GW. As he gets closer to the vehicle, he notices Mother Hopkins, an elderly woman, and her grandchildren. Rooster gives them all of his money, and as he departs, Mother Hopkins offers him a Bible and tells him he is an angel. When Rooster enters the two bootleggers' abandoned home, he discovers that GW has been beaten and his colleague has been slain by Trumpy Scoons. After Rooster is apprehended and taken to Trumpy, GW is fatally shot. A shot aimed at Rooster during a brawl with Trumpy Scoons is deflected by the Bible concealed in his jacket. Following Rooster's escape, Trumpy goes to the club where Angel and Percival have also made the decision to make an early departure for Chicago. After Rooster and Trumpy battle, Percival shoots and kills Trumpy just as he is ready to shoot Rooster. When Percival discovers that Angel has been shot, he rushes to help her, but Angel doesn't survive long. After putting a ring on Angel's finger and adorning her in a bridal gown, a distraught Percival gets ready for her funeral. Later, he makes an effort to hang himself in his room, but Rooster's doorbell ringing interrupts him. After offering Rooster's Chicago ticket to Angel, Percival consoles him and Rooster returns to his family in Chicago. After that, Percival starts recording recordings and doing successful club tours across America. As the movie comes to a close, images of Percival and Angel are displayed next to an image of Percival's mother in a casket.